Hi, I'm Adam from Rockler. Plantation shutters or estate shutters are indoor window treatments that have louvers that are either fixed or movable. They increase a home's curb appeal, they provide some extra insulation, they're easy to clean, and they last forever. And what window treatment could be more appropriate for a wood shop? But compared to blinds and curtains, these can be much more expensive. But Rockler can help you save a ton by making your own. Rockler.com has a measuring guide to get your shutter dimensions. Then you just input those dimensions in the design wizard, name the project and window, in case you're doing more than one, that are different sizes. And it creates the plans with an inventory list and part numbers, so you can get everything you need all at once. You can email the plans, and you can print them. The inventory list will give you item numbers for pre-milled lumber at rough dimensions to save you even more time. You can even get a router bit to mill the curve on the louvers yourself if you want. It's similar to making cabinet doors. Follow your plans to cut the styles and rails, then cut all the louvers. I needed 24. You add a rabbit to the rails. You can do this at the table saw, but I did it at the router since I would be here next to add a decorative bead with this awesome router bit. I chamfered the rails while I was at it as well. I'm making movable shutters with a hidden control arm, so I'll need a small notch on the end of the louvers to attach the hidden control arm. The plans call for assembly with dowels. Join them however you'd like, though. Remember to add length to the plans if you're going with mortise and tenons. I drill from the front and just keep the doweling jig flush to make this super easy. The key to this whole system is Rockler's specialty jigs for the louvers. One for drilling the holes for the louver pens, and one for drilling a tiny hole for mounting the hidden control arm. This jig is sold separately in case you're making fixed louvers or movable louvers with a front control arm. The next jig in the system is for drilling the holes for the louvers to mount into the styles. The plans provide a measurement for foolproof alignment so you can clamp it and go. All these specialty jigs come with the needed self-centering drill bits. If your styles are longer than the jig, move it down and easily realign it with the included indexing pins. Movable louvers use a shutter pin on each end to connect the louver to the styles. Make sure you don't get any glue on these. Each pack of 50 pins comes with six tension pins to provide louver resistance. Make sure you add two or more to each shutter. The plans don't include additional style width required for overlap between adjoining shutters. Consult the measuring guide for this. I accounted for this and added rabbits to the shutters so they will meet in the middle and still block out the light. If you're doing a glue up with dowels, Rockler has silicone glue brush sets made just for the occasion. For this glue up, I found it helpful to slowly bring down each side of the styles while aligning the louvers with the holes. This is probably the only tricky part of this whole build, but with some patience, I got it done. The second one went much smoother. Now we measure out the hidden arm length and trim it. I used a hacksaw and then filed the sharp edges down so they were smooth. Then I secure the arm in place by gently tapping nails into the tiny hole we drilled with the jig earlier. All that's left is to add some hinges and hang the shutters. The plans include a list of many options for hinges to suit your mounting needs. This is easily one of the coolest projects I've done in the shop. It looks great and it was fun to build. I'm Adam with Rockler. Thanks for watching.